Hi, um, as you know, my name is Stephen White, and this is one of my creative makeover projects for Dr. Vartanian's class. Um, it's actually more of a, a two-in-one combination, really. Um, when I was thinking of what I should do this project on, I was thinking of different things that I've never done before, things I'd never tried out and that I wanted to experiment with. And I came up with um, two different ones, one of which I'm doing right now, which is vlogging. Um, I've never actually made my own video uh, before. Um, and so this is a new experience. And also, um, I'm going to use this vlog as the medium for presenting what my actual makeover project is, which is a poem that I've written. Um, poetry is not something that I've ever done, really. Um, I did do it, you know, in high school and middle school. For certain English classes, we had to write our own poems, but um, I've never done it independently, so um, I thought about doing that, and when I was thinking about what I would write a poem on, um, <clears throat> I was in Dr. Floyd's history class, and we were discussing the Second World War, and in talking about that, I was reminded of stories that my dad had told me about um, my grandpa's three uncles who all served in World War II and um, all fought very bravely and all returned home safely. Um, <clears throat> and I've sort of always been impacted by those stories, I guess. Um, and they've always sort of made me, you know, proud and given me a sense of, uh, you know, patriotism, I guess. And so, <clears throat> um, I decided that I would write a poem that is dedicated to not only my three great-great-uncles, but um, all the men who served uh, in World War II, um, all the brave American soldiers. So I'm going to recite that for you now, actually. I've got it right here, as you can see. Lots of scribble marks. But anyway, um, it's called The Boys That Were So Bold. <clears throat> Boys so bold left their homes for abroad. For love of country and justice so fiercely they fought. Risking life and limb through the peril and the doom, they journeyed on, knowing their victory would come soon. Boys so brave and so strong drove the enemies back to their homes. From Okinawa to Leyte Gulf, from London down to Rome, through mur murky jungle waters deep, and cross blood-stained fields wide, over crystal oceans blown by winds, and up lofty mountains high. Americans so proud and noble, lift up your weary heads. Your finest generation has fought to give you rest. And when you tell your children about these days of old, do not forget the sacrifice of the boys that were so bold. That is the um, poem that I wrote. And so now I'm going to discuss, uh, well, I've already discussed why I did this. You know, what um, prompted me to, to write uh, about the World War II uh, soldiers. Um, and I guess I can talk about the, um, the senses that it appeals to. Um, you know, poetry is a very, um, creative thing. Um, it's a very, uh, creative process, I suppose. And so the, um, the sense of design is an integral part of poetry, I think. Um, of course, the poet has free reign over um, his creation. He can, he has the ability to 
um, compose what he likes and um, put whatever words together that he likes. And um, it definitely relates to Pink's book in that way, I think. Um, and also, it, <clears throat> of course, relates to the, the sense of meaning. Um, you know, I think it's something that we as Americans can all find meaning in and um, appreciate, you know, the, the sacrifice that um, those brave young men did make for our country and for the world at large. Um, and of course it has some personal meaning to me too because even though I didn't know my grandfather's uncles, um, I still take pride in knowing that they, you know, helped out in such a great cause. Um, and as far as my learning experience, <clears throat> um, I learned that poetry uh, is very difficult, um, extremely difficult, at least for me. Um, it's not something that you can just, you know, you can't just rattle off a poem in just a matter of seconds. You have to actually sit down and really think about it and really consider what it is that you want to say and you have to carefully consider how you're going to say it and um, it takes a while to really put your thoughts all down on paper and compose your thoughts properly um, and I've also learned that it's uh, something that I, don't, I wouldn't say I necessarily enjoy it but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be of course I've I've had to write poems before but um, they were usually you know haikus or shorter shorter poems nothing quite as lengthy as what I wrote but um it really was was not an unpleasant experience in any way for me um, it was actually a pleasure writing it uh, because I was writing it about something that uh, that I am interested in and, and passionate about, I guess. Um, and <clears throat> as far as the um, educational, uh, as, as far as its relation to education, um, like I said earlier, poetry is a very um, creative thing and it's a very right brain thing, I suppose. Uh, most creative and artistic um, capabilities are right brain oriented and um, it's not you know it's not along the lines of the more you know logical rational thinking but um, <clears throat> I think in our schools today you know creativity is sort of being it's not being thrown under the bus or underappreciated, but it's just not, you know, encouraged, I suppose, as much as, you know, the left brain uh, oriented thinking is. And um, I think I think there should be maybe a change in that. I think we should, you know, we should definitely cherish the um, things like poetry and literature and um, songs, music, stuff like that, the um, more creative uh, entities that we can find out there, and that we should encourage our students to embrace those uh, creative abilities that they may possess themselves and not, you know, let them go to waste. Um, I, think, I think that's important in the educational realm. Um, so that concludes my, uh, my vlog, my very first vlog. I hope it went well. Hope you all enjoyed it and learned something from my, um, creative makeover project because I know that I certainly did. Thank you very much.